cardiac glycosides cardiac glycosides as the name indicate cardiac means they will act on a circulatory system they are known as a cardiac glycosides particularly they are useful as a cardiotonic they are useful as a cardiotonic in the congestive cardiac failure uh, there is one condition known as a congestive cardiac failure where there is a your heart is not able to pump the blood forcefully and because of that uh, there is a congestion congestion in the cvs circulatory system may congestion ho jayega so edema then uh, your heart fail okay so in that condition these uh, cardiac glycosides they are used now these cardiac glycosides they will have a a glycon part different a glycon part chemically a glycon part of cardiac glycoside is a steroidal moiety there the a glycon part of cardiac glycoside is a steroidal in nature so steroidal in nature they are either carbon 23 or carbon 24 steroids okay so a glycon part is nothing but your steroidal moiety remember this they they are having steroid as a a glycon part either they are c23 <laughs> or c24 steroids total number of carbon atom will be 23 either or 24 so that that is different because of uh, either they will have five membered ring at the 17 position or six membered ring five membered ring or six membered ring at the 17 position and depending on they are depending on that they are classified if uh, the cardiac glycoside has a five membered ring five membered ring and they are known as a, they are known as cardinoloid cardinoloids and if six membered ring is present they are known as a Papadinolides. In that, you have two kind of cardiac glycosides. First one is known as a cardinolides, cardinolides. Second one is known as a papadinolides, papadinolides, or papadinolides or papadinolides. First one is a cardinolides, and second one is a papadinolides. So in cardinolide, cardinolides, you have five membered electron ring at carbon number seventy. Five membered electron ring attached with the attached to a carbon number seventy. Then only one double bond will be there in the structure of cardinolides. Only one double bond will be in the lactone ring, particularly. जो lactone ring होगा वहाँ पे एक ही double bond होगा, which is attached that lactone ring is attached to a uh, steroid lactone at the carbon number seventy. Occurrence, they are their occurrence is quite high as compared to buffer dinolites. Cardinolites will occur in a will occur abundantly in the plants. Buffer dinolites will not occur in the plant. They are particularly found in the animals. Now, what is buffer dinolites? So they will have six membered ring in their structure at the c17 okay and they contain two double bonds yahan pe jo double bonds hai two honge yahan two double bonds the lactone the lactone ring is attached to a steroid steroid nucleus at a 17 beta position the name buffer dinolides the name buffer dinolides they was given to these kind of glycosides because they were derived from a derived from there was a first uh, This buffer dinolides were derived from buffalin, buffalin. That is a tour skin. The mendek hota hai, mendek ke skin se nikala tha. So remember, there are two kinds of cardiac glycosides. First one was the cardinolides, and second one is known as buffer dinolides. So cardinolides, they will have. You can see the structure over here. This uh, is a structure of your cardinolides. So this is structure of your buffer dinolides, and this is structure of your cardinolides. So this is your sugar part. Okay, sugar part. then this is your steroid part this one is a steroid part steroidal ring a b c and d at this position is known as 17th position at the 17th position if there is a five membered lactone ring if there is a five membered lactone ring you can see here there is a five membered lactone ring okay lactone means ketone or so there is a five membered lactone ring and there is only one double bond so one double bond five membered lactone ring attached to a 17th position of your steroid nucleus That is a feature of your cardinalloids. Cardinalloids में क्या होता है? Cardinalloids में आपको asteroidal nucleus plus five membered lactone ring and sugar, sugar moiety. But in case of buffer and, and these cardinalloids, they occurs in the plant. Their occurrence is occurrence is higher high in the plant. Their occurrence is higher in the plant. Now second one is the buffer dinolloids. Second one is the buffer dinolloids. So this part is known as sugar moiety. Or this is a steroid nucleus over here. cyclopentane upper hydroponentrin nucleus spread nucleus and this position is number numbered as 17 position 17 position at the 17 position there is a six membered ring okay you can you can see over so this is a six membered ring this is a six membered ring okay and this six membered has a two double bond two double bond this two double bond two double bonds so 
in the buffered analytes there are there is a six member ring and two double bonds in the ring such kind of lepton moiety is there or lepton ring is there six member lepton ring with two but two double bonds and in cardinaloids five member lepton ring with one double bond okay and cardinaloids mostly occurs in the plant buffered analytes mostly occurs in the animals so it was first isolated from isolated as a buffalin from toad skin that's why the occurrence is in animal remember this now we'll see the next point now these cardinaloids they occur in the plant known as digitalis cardinaloids jo hai that occurs in the plant known as a digitalis so this digitalis is the plant it consists of a cardinaloids okay so what is the synonym for the digitalis digitalis leaves okay digitalis leaves fox glow leaves lady glows then finger flower they are the synonyms for this digitalis synonyms yaad rakho digitalis ka fox glow leaves lady glow then finger flower okay then uh, biological source so biological and geographical source so they are nothing but the dried leaves of digitalis purpurea family scrophulariaceae dried leaves of digitalis purpurea family scrophulariaceae and they are collected and dried immediately below 60 degrees celsius after collection and they should not contain more than 5% moisture potency of uh, cardinaloids get lost potency of cardinaloids will go lost due to uh, due to decomposition due to decomposition and if you try to and if your uh, collected plant has a more than 5% moisture again potency or the glycoside will be hydrolyzed or will be lost due to uh, hydrolysis so if you dry this uh, digitalis leaves above 60 potency is lost due to decomposition okay yaad rakho now cultivation collection again it is not much important for your exam but we will see so it is a biennial biennial means two times biennial or perennial hai biennial biennial matlab kya hota hai ki biennial matlab ek saal mein do bar aayega okay so biennial means uh, there will be two crops in one year so biennial perennial means only one so biennial or perennial herb about 1 to 2 meter us ka height na rahega 1 to 2 meter propagated by seeds and it needs high calcareous acidic sandy soil for the cultivation temperature required is 20 to 30 degree rainfall around 30 to 40 cm seeds are being very small ske seeds jo the small size ke hote that's why they are mixed with the sand and then they are sown in the nursery bed in the march april month okay and once you uh, sow these seeds in the nursery bed so seedlings are transplanted in the september november march april mein aapko wo lagana hai seeds uska sand ke sabne ke ke baad mein wo september november mein jo seedlings honge uske wo aapko transplant karna hai field mein then they are manual manual properly so this plant is manual properly they are manual properly transplanted in the field twice a year transplanted in the field twice a year okay in the uh, transplanted twice a year first year this plant bears a roseate type of leaves and in the second year they bear sessile leaves the leaves are picked by the leaves are collected or picked in the afternoon in august month august or september month and they should contain not less than they should contain not more than 5% moisture this is important this line remember presence of presence of presence of moisture and enzyme dg purpuridase and oxidase causes deterioration of glycoside if leaves are heated above 60 degrees celsius the potency is lost due to chemical degradation it was question in ye question jpet mein tha so presence of uh, water more than 5% or moisture more than 5% or there is one enzyme known as dg purpuridase this enzyme also responsible for the hydrolysis of cardioglycoside these two enzymes oxidase enzyme and dg purpuridase okay and if you heat the leaves above 60 degrees celsius potency is lost by chemical degradation chemical degradation now microscopic characters so it will have a dorsi ventral type of leaf and anomocytic stomata on the both sides dorsi ventral means look okay so anomocytic stomata on the surface uniseriate multicellular covering trachom glandular trachoms then collapse cell covering trachom collapse cell covering trachom which is a important characteristic feature of your digitalis then calcium oxalate and sclerenchyma is absent stars green sir present so these are the microscopic important points just remember microscopic important point they might have, they have already asked the question on this uh, so presence of this enzyme dg purpuridase oxidase and presence of water 
and if you heat these digital slings around 60 or more than 60 degrees Celsius, the potency is lost by chemical degradation. So remember the microscopic uh, point like horizontal limb, then anomocytic somata on surface, then uh, multicellulate, unicellulate multicellular covering as well as granular trichomes, then collapse cell layer, cell, collapse cell, celled trichomes, collapse celled covering trichomes, then uh, calcium oxalate and sclerenchyma is absent. So these important points are uh, from microscopic character and uh, this is very important. This is the question. Then uh, remember the biological source and synonyms. Digital is purpurea, scrope literacy. Now we will see uh, next point, chemical constant, which is again a very important part for uh, next one is the uh, chemical constants. Again, this uh, chemical constants constituents are very important from this uh, digital is point of view and their hydrolysis product is also important. We will uh, see it. Sorry for interruption, there was some technical issue regarding PowerPoint. So, digital is purpurea, lady, uh, then digital is also known as digital is loose, oxalo loose, lady glows, and finger plug. Okay, they are often formed as a dried leaves from digital is purpurea, family scrupulacy, and they should be dried immediately after collection below 60 degrees Celsius. And it should contain not less than, sorry, not more than 5% moisture. It is cultivated in the England and other part of Europe and India. Europe, US, and India. We are seeing the cultivation collection. Remember the moisture uh, and moisture and enzyme. This DG purpuridase and oxidase they will cause deterioration of glycoside. If heated leaves are heated more than 60, the potency is lost due to chemical degradation. So it is dorsoventral type of leaf. Anomocytic stomata is there. Unicellulate multicellular covering trichome and granular trichome are present. Collapse cell covering trichome is the important feature of this uh, digital plant. Calcium oxalate and sclerenchyma is absent. Stars grains are present. Next point is chemical constant. Again, this is very important part from this point. Uh, is this. So these three scientists known as a nativally, known as a nativally, this chemical constant. So nativally, this Kilani and Stoll. These three scientists, nativally, Kilani and Stoll. Okay, these nativally in 1868, Kilani 1989, 1891, and uh, Stoll 1938. They have contributed uh, a lot of for determining the structures or determining the structure of glycosides present in this digitalis. So this digitalis particularly have cardinaloids such as a purpurea glycoside A and purpurea glycoside B. Purpurea glycoside A and purpurea glycoside. Then again along with that glucogetoxalin, gluco, glucogetoxalin and okay so this purpurea glycoside A, purpurea glycoside B, then glucogetoxalin they are the primary glycosides. And other glycosides like uh, such as odoroside H, gitaloxine, veridoxine, glucoveridoxine, these are also there. Secondary glycosides like digoxine, digitoxine, gitoxine, gitaloxine, all are the secondary glycosides. Again, this is a question of hydrolysis product of your purpurea glycoside. Hydrolysis product of purpurea glycosides. Now, purpurea glycoside A on hydrolysis will give you, purpurea glycoside A on hydrolysis will give you digitoxine plus glucose and if you do further hydrolysis of this digitoxinin dig, digitoxin so you will get another digitoxygenin digitoxogenin plus three molecule of digitoxose which is a specific sugar found in the digitalis again in case of purpurea glycoside B so if you try, try to hydrolysis uh, try to do hydrolysis of this purpurea glycoside B you will get a detoxin you will get a detoxin plus glucose molecule and if you further hydrolysis this you will get a Etoxygenin, etoxygenin and three digitoxose molecule. So, this is what we have to do with the hydrolysis. We have to do with the digitoxin. We have to do with the digitoxin. We have to do with the digitoxin. We have to do with the hydrolysis. We have to do with the digitoxin. We have to do with the digitoxin. We have to do with Gitoxygenin plus 3 digitoxos. Then saponin glycosides such as digitonin and gitonin. Digitonin and gitonin. These are also present in the digitalis. Saponin glycosides. There is one important, uh, important chemical constant known as a lute luteoloin is the flavonoid compound or flavon. Flavon responsible for the color of flavon responsible for the color of this drug. Then veridoxin. Veridoxin <coughs> that is a secondary uh, secondary uh, veridoxin is a Glycoside again in the digitalis that will act synergistically with the digitoxin. It will act synergistically with the digitoxin. Then uh, 
these are the chemical constant and uses are nothing but it is they are used as a cardiotonic in case of congestive cardiac failure cardiotonic take cardiotonic use karte hai cardiotonic bolke it is used as a cardiotonic in case of cardiac failure they are also used in the some cardiac arrhythmia also so these are digitalis or digoxin and all that today also digoxin is available in the form of tablet so remember these things for prior glycosin A perpetual glycoside, B perpetual glycoside, C perpetual glycoside, D. These are the four types of glycoside present in the this uh, these studies. So remember the hydrolysis protocol of perpetual glycoside A and B. Next point is so chemical test. So one chemical test is important for these studies. This is known as a Keller Kirani test. This is a specific test for digitoxose. Chemical test is given for question asked by you. So chemical test for this is Keller Kirani test. And it is a specific test for digitoxose, which is a sugar found in the digitalis. Okay, so you take you have to take one gram of powder, ten ml of alcohol, you have to add seventy percent alcohol, boil, then add five ml of powder, add add long strong lead acetate solution, shake, filter, and add equal amount of chloroform. You operate the extract, then uh, is dissolved in the acetic acid, and uh, few two drops of ferric chloride is added, and transferred into test tube containing two ml test tube support. So you will get a reddish, you will get a reddish brown layer, reddish brown layer, or reddish brown layer, occurring bluish green color after standing. That is due to presence of digitoxes. So, ये test का पूरा प्रोसेस आपने रखना है अपने को सिर्फ ये याद रखना है. Killer killer test is for specific test for digitoxes. Sure. Now again there is another test known as a legal test, legal test and a balzet test. So these three tests are the specific test for identification of your cardiac glycoside. Keller Kirani test, Balzet test, Legal test, Legal test, Balzet test. Legal test में क्या होता है कि extract जो है वो pyridin plus sodium nitro phosphate के साथ में so extract लेना है उसमें pyridin plus sodium nitro phosphate add करना है solution and then you have to make that solution alkaline. So you will get a pink red color. And in the Balzet test, the Balzet test section it is it is not performed on a powder drug, it is performed on a leaf. So TS of leaf Okay, section of this there is plus sodium picrate, yellow or two orange color that is obtained in the budget test. These first two tests they are performed on a powder drug. Now adulterants, adulterants are very important again. They used to ask question on this adulterant. So what are the different adulterants for this uh, digitalist? First digitalist, original digitalist uh, or digitalist procrea is adulterated with the leaves of verbescum thapsus. Leaves of verbescum thapsus family scrofularaceae. And it can be easily distinguished by powder under microscopy. Okay, so if your uh, digitalis propria is adulterated with this verbescum thapsus, you can easily identify by microscopy. So verbescum thapsus consists of a candle bar type of trichomes and that can be easily identified. And again, this digitalis is also substituted with the prime rose prime rose leaves prime rose leaves that is obtained from primula vulgaris primu primu lesi primu lesi is It again can be distinguished by uh, microscopy that uh, this primula primula vulgaris is of uniseriate covering type. Then again, this digitalis can be substituted by comfrey leaves obtained from Sympidium officinale family Boraginaceae, and it can be distinguished by presence of multicellular distinguished by presence of multicellular trichomes forming oak at the top. Okay. Then again, digitalis can be substituted by this inula ponisa inula ponisa. Plugman spike knot. Plugman spike knot. Those are some names. Plugman spike. Distinguished by this, uh, this presence of this drug in the original drug. Distinguished by morphology. These are nothing but the substitution or adulterant for the your G pad. Uh, sorry, your digitalis. So again, I will uh, again I will repeat digitalis of work. Sorry, again I will repeat the adulterant for this uh, digitalis. First one is the verbescum thapsus. Now, verbescum thapsus if it is adulterated with the, uh, if it is used as adulterant for our digitalis, you can easily identify the presence of by microscope by the presence of candle bar type of trichome. Then again, it is substituted with the primula vulgaris, prime rose leaves. Again, it can be identified by presence of uniseriate covering trichome. Then digitalis uh, leaves are sometimes substituted with the comfrey leaves that is obtained from Sympidium officinale borazinaceae, and again distinguished by presence of Multicellular trichomes covering, covering multicellular covering trichomes, forming a hook at the top. 
then again digital is can be treated by enola coniza that is plug man spike nerve this is by morphology so this point again these are important adherence yaad rakho test yaad rakho killer killer test legal test budget killer killer test is specific test for identification of digital which is the which is the sugar found in the your digitalis ke upar bhi question aa chuka there is another variety of digitalis known as digitalis lenata so digitalis lenata okay so purpura digitalis jo hai that is original drug and uh, it is known as a allied drug it is known as a allied drug so that is digitalis lenata similar drug hai. so it is often it is nothing but it is also known as oli fox glow then astrial digitalis digitalis purpura was nothing but the digitalis fox glow or lady glow it is known as oli fox glow or astrial digitalis a biological source digitalis lanata it is that nothing but the tried use of digitalis lanata original kaha digitalis purpurea family scrofularisi it should contain not less than 1.12 uh, 1.14% cardiac glycoside okay it is again indigenous indigenous to south and central europe cultivated also cultivated in the usa and all uh, in this you will have glycoside like lanatocyte lanatocytes a b c d and e okay lanatocytes a b c d and e So out of that land to size C, जो है that is important. Okay, and nowadays it is a commercial source for digoxin. Digoxin. So digoxin is obtained from land land to land to size C. Now it is used uses here. It is just land to. It is a commercial source for digoxin and land to size C is it is poorly absorbed from some of and J T and S list. So what happens? So digital is put here that they have cumulative action. Cumulative action. So slowly absorb and bound to plasma for to cumulative way lekin digital is uh, obtained from lanthanosides so digoxin obtained from lanthanosides they it will not have a is a it is a less cumulative than original drug it is advantage then digital is lutea it is known as a straw fox glow which is again equivalent as digital is purpura it is again a new variety digital is lutea digital is tapsi known as a spanish fox glow again more potent than digital is purpura. these are again Two varieties, two more varieties. Digital is not here. Digital is tapsy. Sometimes they used to ask question on this. This uh, Spanish fox glow is. You have to give option. Like digital is not here. Digital is uh, lanta. Digital is tapsy. Digital is for free. So you should be able to identify. Spanish is a digital is tapsy. Then straw fox glow. Digital is not here. Then astral or uh, oli fox glow is a digital is lanta and uh, digital is for free is the original. So digital is for free is original. Fox glow is digital is purpura, okay. Then uh, oli fox glow is a digital is lanata. Straw fox glow is a digital is purpura, and Spanish fox glow is a digital is tax. Digital is <laughs> digital is plant will look like this. So you can see the flowers. You can easily put, <coughs> can easily insert these flowers in the finger. And that's why they are known as a lady finger finger flower. Okay, this is a digital is. This is a stopan. This is a stopanthus. This is a thymidia. We'll see in the next one is thymidia. It is again a cardiac glycoside. It's known as a yellow oleander, or also known as a trumpet flower or lucky nut tree. The name you have yellow oleander, trumpet flower, lucky nut tree. Then biological source is dried dried uh, seeds of thymidia peruviana. Thymidia peruviana. Dried seeds of thymidia peruviana. Dried seeds of thymidia peruviana. Or thymidia neripolia. Thymidia neripolia. Family Apocynaceae. Many can see apocynaceae found in the West Indies, Florida, then Hawaii, then Hawaii, then America and India. Again, this chemical constant consists of cardiac glycoside. So, cardiotonic glycosides or cardiac cardiac glycoside. Major glycosides are known as cerebrosides. So, in this, which are thymidin A, thymidin B, thymidin B and thymidin A and peruvoside. There are three kind of glycosides: thymidin A, thymidin B and peruvoside, and there are less for. So thymidine B on hydrolysis will give you digitoxygenin plus EL thymidose and two molecules of glucose. EL thymidose, digitoxygenin plus two molecules of glucose. Thymidine B. Thymidine A on hydrolysis will give you canogenin plus thymidose plus two molecules of glucose. Prozide on hydrolysis will give you cano canogenol plus EL thymidose. Okay. Other glycosides like cerebri cere cer cerberin then uh, neripolin. Then thymidin and peru peruvosidic acid. These are also present. They are not less. They are less important. Then again, uses of this thymidia. So it is a poisonous drug. It's a poisonous plant and used as a used as a abortifacient. 
to commit abortions the pregnant lady then again it is a purgative in the it is a purgative and it is also used in the rheumatism then it is also used in the dropsy 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 it is also then furosite are used in the mild cardiac insufficient mild cardiac these are the uses of this these are the use of theta theta is uh, there are a lot of drugs which are mentioned in the uh, this all the drugs are not important but i am taking we have a lot of time so. and next one is a stropanthus so stropanthus is known as a arrow arrow poison semino <coughs> arrow poison or semino stropanthi bilingual so can try seeds of stropanthus combe any apocyne chemical constant <coughs> chemical constant k stropanthin k stropanthoside stropocyte stropanthoside is also known as a stropocyte again they are cardiotonic okay again they are cardiotonic glycoside will show emerald green color emerald green color with the sulfuric acid that is stropanth you have seen this is stropanthus plant stropanthus plant a or a there is known as thibetia thibetia and this is known as stropanthus ka is tarike se hoga thibetia ka is tarike se next is a indian squeal <coughs> next one is a indian squeal so it is also known as a jungle pass it is also known as jungle pass jungle pass or sea onion or cilia jungle pass sea onion cilia that is a synonym so it is obtained from it is a nothing but the dried slices and bulbs of argenia indica family liliaci argenia indica liliaci it is found in the india europe india europe grown in spain greece etc we could be geographical source be is puchte nahi lekin puch lega geographical geographical source is kam puchte puchte hi nahi lekin ek bar pucha tha paritram ka european squid it is grown in the italy spain greece india france and algeria chemical constituent And 3% of cardiac glycoside that is known as silarin A and silarin B. These are two major cardiac glycosides, silarin A and silarin. On hydrolysis, they will give you pro-silarin A and pro-silarin B respectively. What are the uses of this? Again, this is a cardiotonic. So it is a cardiotonic. It is a cardiotonic stimulant and also expectorant. It is also used as anti-cancer. European squill, jungle pants. Now there are another variety known as European squill. It is also known as European squill is also known as white squill. Okay, white squill. White squill. Obtained from bulbs of Argenia maritima. Argenia maritima. Family Liliaceae. Contains cardiac glycoside, bupadenolide type. Important like important cardiac glycoside, silarin A, which on hydrolysis will give you. This is important glycoside from this silarin A, which on hydrolysis will give you silarin, silarinin, and silly bios silly renin silly renin and silly bios there is glucose glucose plus stamens and again it is also used as a cardiotonic without cumulative effect and also used as in the chronic bronchitis and bronchitis as a expectorant european squill indian squill kya hai argenia indica european squill kya hai argenia maritima uses are almost like similar there is another variety known as red squill iske upar ek bar question aa chuka hai red squill so red variety of european squill red variety of european skill skill only they are known as the red red skill because there is one pigment color pigment present in this uh, mesophyll they are known as anthocyanin anthocyanin naam ka pigment hota hai red skill mein they, because of that red color is there and it consists of some glycoside consists of glycoside like silarocyte silarocyte then glycoside silarocyte and silurobicide the uh, silurobicide silly rubrocyte silly rubrocyte which is used as a red poison silly rubrocyte is used as a red poison rubrocyte matlab ye for red squill is used as a red poison iske upar question aata hai now the following is used as a red poison so red squill chuhe marne ki dawa ayurvedic dawa next we will see yaad rakho yahan pe different varieties of argenia argenia indica is nothing but the indian squill argenia maritima is nothing but the European squill, okay, and red or red of European squill is used as a red poison. You can see uh, this is the structure of Argenia. Uh, sorry, this is the plant of Argenia indica. एक कुछ onion की तरह ये दिखेगा ये onion कहाँ दिखेगा Argenia indica. Now chemical test for glycosides. Again we will try to revise it. So for anthocyanin glycoside you have Brown Trigger test, okay, and this particular for O type of glycoside. O type. The modified Brown Trigger test is a particular. is for identification of 
सी टाइप ऑफ ग्लाइकोसाइड याद रखो ये ओ ग्लाइकोसाइड के लिए कौन सा है सी ग्लाइकोसाइड के लिए दो तीन बार हो चुका है इसलिए हिमोलाइटिक टेस्ट हिमोलाइटिक टेस्ट जो है दैट इज परफॉर्म ऑन द ऑक्स ब्लड ऑक्स जो होता है एनिमल ना ब्लड के साथ में हिमोलाइटिक टेस्ट करते हैं एंड दैट इज मोस्टली एप्लीकेबल फॉर सेपोनिन टाइप ऑफ ग्लाइकोसाइड सेपोनिन ग्लाइकोसाइड के लिए टेस्ट इज आल्सो अगेन एप्लीकेबल फॉर सेपोनिन टाइप ऑफ ग्लाइकोसाइड 1 ग्राम ऑफ सेपोनिन 20 ml वाटर शेक एंड देन मेजर द फॉर्मेट तो इट इज गिवन इन द बुक्स द बुक में है ये स्टार्ट विद मोर द टेस्ट प्रोनटेगर टेस्ट फॉर सी प्रोनटेगर टेस्ट फॉर ओ ग्लाइकोसाइड मॉडिफाइड फॉर सी टेस्ट फॉर स्टेरॉइड एंड ट्राइटरपेनोइड ग्लाइकोसाइड जो स्टेरॉइड जैसे कार्डियक ग्लाइकोसाइड में स्टेरॉइड स्टेरॉइड न्यूक्लियस है सो टेस्ट फॉर स्टेरॉइडल ग्लाइकोसाइड्स एंड ट्राइटरपेनोइड ग्लाइकोसाइड्स फर्स्ट वन इज नोन एज अ सेलो सेलोवस्की टेस्ट सेलकोवस्की टेस्ट फर्स्ट इज सेलकोवस्की टेस्ट सेलकोवस्की सो दिस टेस्ट इज अ स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टेरॉइड न्यूक्लियस अल्कोहोलिक एक्सट्रैक्ट यू हैव टू इवोपरेट टू ट्राइनेस ओके okay, मतलब ड्रग ले लो अल्कोहल डालो उसमें ये ऑपरेट कर रहा है स्ट्रक्ट विद द क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड कंसंट्रेटेड एसिड इज व्हाट यू हैव टू हैव ऑन द साइड ऑफ द साइड ऑल ऑफ द टेस्ट ट्यूब ए येलो कलर फॉर्मेशन एट द जंक्शन टू सॉल्यूशन येलो कलर रिंग एट द जंक्शन ऑफ टू सॉल्यूशन इंडिकेट दैट देयर इज अ पॉजिटिव टेस्ट जो दिस येलो कलर विल टर्न रेड आफ्टर मिनट इंडिकेटिंग द प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्टेरॉइड न्यूक्लियस सो रिमेंबर यहां पे टेस्ट याद रखना मत रखो आपको ऐसे भी इतना याद रखना है सेलको सेलकोवास्की टेस्ट इज यूज्ड फॉर द डिटेक्शन ऑफ स्टेरॉइडल ग्लाइकोसाइड्स इट इज अ स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट फॉर स्टेरॉइड न्यूक्लियस देन अगेन अगेन नेक्स्ट इज लिबरमन बर्चर टेस्ट लिबरमन बर्चर टेस्ट ओके अगेन दिस टेस्ट इज आल्सो स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टेरॉइड न्यूक्लियस तो जिसमें भी स्टेरॉइड न्यूक्लियस होगा ये दोनों टेस्ट पॉजिटिव है तो जो कार्डियक ग्लाइकोसाइड सुपर डिबुलेट दे यूज्ड टू पोस्ट टू गिव दिस टेस्ट पॉजिटिव देन अगेन एंटीमनी ट्राइक्लोराइड टेस्ट दिस टेस्ट इज अ टेस्ट इज गिवन पॉजिटिव बाय अ ड्रग कंटेनिंग स्टेरॉइड एंड ट्राइटरपेनोइड रिंग्स स्टेरॉइड एंड ट्राइटरपेनोइड केमिकल लेज इसका है वो देख ये टेस्ट पढ़ने में कोई मतलब नहीं ट्राइक्लोरोएसिटिक एसिड टेस्ट है नेक्स्ट इज आल्सो टेस्ट फॉर दिस ट्राइटरपेनोइड देन टेट्रा nitromethane test tra nitromethane test so again test for triterpenoid glycosides red and triterpenoid yellow color generated color is generated to with steroids and triterpenoid next is zimmermann's test zimmermann's test so in this meta dinitrobenzene aloko meta nitrobenzene is the chemical meta nitro meta dinitrobenzene is the solution meta nitro meta dinitrobenzene is the chemical used in zimmermann's test again so meta meta dinitrobenzene solution added to alcoholic solution of drug containing alkali and it will form a violet color in presence of keto steroid it test for keto type of steroid lactone this may over type of steroid these are nothing but the different test for glycosides test important the identification test so again salovas salkovsky test for steroid nucleus liverman bercher test for steroid nucleus antimony <coughs> antimony trichloride test for steroids and triterpenoids trichloroacetic acid trichloroacetic acid test tetra nitromethane test then zimmermann's test for keto steroids yaad rakho ye now again ye already ho chuka hai the killer killer test we have seen in the killer killer test for specific test for digitoxos then uh, legal test is also for the cardiac glucose budget test is also for cardiac glucose nitrobenzic acid test three for dinitrobenzic acid test and the test for your steroid uh, your cardiac glycosides for cardiac glycosides glycosides one killer killer legal test budget test and bio dinitrobenzic acid test okay. test for coumarin type of glycosides coumarin ring this may be for the liquid test trichloride test hai. then fluorescence test hai. yaar rakho then uh, for flavonoid type of glycosides flavonoid glycosides ke liye kaun sa test hai इज अमोनिया अमोनिया टेस्ट शिनोरा टेस्ट इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन आ सकता है आपको शिनोरा टेस्ट सो दे कैन आस्क यू क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज अ शिनोरा टेस्ट शिनोरा टेस्ट इज द स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट फॉर आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस इट इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ फ्लेवोनाइड टाइप ऑफ ग्लाइकोसाइड याद रखो शिनोरा टेस्ट फॉर फ्लेवोनाइड ग्लाइकोसाइड ठीक है कभी-कभी मैच द फॉलोइंग टाइप का क्वेश्चन भी पूछ लेते हैं जैसे ये कॉलम में देंगे आपको केलर के लाइन टेस्ट एक कॉलम में केलर के लाइन टेस्ट देंगे ये दूसरा देंगे दिस शिनोरा टेस्ट इस तरह देंगे आपका जो लिवर मन बर्चर टेस्ट ठीक है 
और और एक टेस्ट का नाम देंगे और दूसरे कॉलम में देंगे कार्डियोक्लाइकोसाइड चिरोइडल न्यूक्लियस बाद में देंगे प्लेवोनाइड न्यूक्लियस और बोलेंगे मैच द फॉलोइंग विथ आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट मैच सो इन दैट इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट आल्सो दे कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन सो रिमेंबर केलर ग्रान टेस्ट फॉर डिस्टॉक्सस ओके बालजेट टेस्ट लीगल टेस्ट अगेन डायनाइट्रोबेंजिक एसिड टेस्ट फॉर कार्डियोक्लाइकोसाइड ओके केलर ग्रान लीगल बालजेट एंड डायनाइट्रोबेंजिक एसिड टेस्ट फॉर कार्डियक देन कॉमेरिन फॉर कॉमेरिन कॉमेरिन का छोड़ दो उतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है यदि क्लोराइड टेस्ट है क्लोसन टेस्ट है देन फ्लेवोनाइड के लिए स्पेसिफिक टेस्ट होता है आपका शिनोडा टेस्ट शिनोडा टेस्ट ओके याद रखो सो इन दैट शिनोडा टेस्ट अल्कोहलिक एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ ड्रग अल्कोहलिक एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ ड्रग प्लस यू हैव टू हैव डाइल्यूटेड सेल टेस्ट ऑफ ड्रग मैग्नीशियम प्लस डाइल्यूटेड सेल यू गेट ट्रक यू विल यू विल गेट टर्निंग पिंक रेड कलर फॉर्मेशन इंडिकेट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फ्लेवर वेनिलिन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड टेस्ट इज ऑल्सो वेनिलिन एचसीएल टेस्ट इन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड टेस्ट तो अल्कोहलिक एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ ड्रग प्लस वेनिलिन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड गिव्स पिंक कलर व्हिच आल्सो इंडिकेट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फ्लेवोनाइड्स तो वेनिलिन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड टेस्ट इज ऑल्सो फॉर फ्लेवोनाइड्स सो फ्लेवोनाइड्स के लिए दो टेस्ट है सिनोरा टेस्ट एंड वेनिलिन हाइड्रोक्लोराइड टेस्ट ध्यान से बोलिए ये टेस्ट वाले टेबल जो है वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है कि इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन आता है दिन टाइप का एक तो डायरेक्ट भी क्वेश्चन पूछ लेंगे आपको या फिर मैच द फॉलोइंग 